Here is the snowpack and weather outlook for June 21st, 2013. Here are the snow water equivalent values based on the percent of average for each basin from Friday, June 21st, the first full day of summer. As a reminder, this graph is an indication of how much snowpack is left on the ground compared to the average snowpack typically seen for this date. It looks like summer is upon us regarding the snowpack with only a meager amounts of snow left on the ground in the high country across the northern sections of the forecast area. Here are the year to date precipitation numbers based on the percent of average for each basin from Friday, June 21st. As a reminder, compared to the previous snow water equivalent slide, this graph shows how much precipitation has fallen this year in each basin compared to the average for the state. All basins have seen a 3 to 6 percent decrease since the end of May due to the lack of precipitation across the area. The best conditions continue across the north with close to 90 percent of average precipitation. The worst conditions were across the south with 64 percent of average precipitation. Here's a map showing the forecasted upper level winds at 500 millibar pressure level or an altitude of approximately 18,000 feet. On Monday through Wednesday next week in the top three panels, very warm and dry southwest flow is expected over the region, continuing critical fire weather concerns across the forecast area. By Thursday, a ridge of high pressure builds over the Intermountain West, bringing a decrease in winds, but an increase in temperatures with the hottest temperatures of the season for the area. Here is an image showing the active fire perimeters as of June 21st. This dry, hot, breezy pattern is bad news for these wildfires continuing across the area. As for the temperatures this upcoming week, expect warm temperatures to continue this weekend with a warming trend next week with hot temperatures expected by the middle of the week. Here are the high temperatures expected next Thursday. Here is a map showing the precipitation forecast through next Friday, June 28th. Expect the dry pattern continuing through the end of the month. However, there are hints of moisture and precipitation developing across central Mexico with some indications of a moisture fetch into New Mexico by later next week. And that does provide a glimmer of hope for early next month. Here is an update of the U.S. Drought Monitor released on June 20th. Severe, as indicated by the orange, and extreme, as indicated by the red, drought conditions continue across the Grand Junction forecast area, with no immediate relief seen through the end of the month, as indicated by the previous slides. So in summary, critical fire weather conditions will continue into next week with the potential for fire weather hazards through this period. Dry and breezy conditions will persist through early next week and expect warmer temperatures this weekend with the hottest temperatures of the season expected by later in the work week. Drought condi conditions will continue with no relief through next week. That concludes the weather and drought outlook for June 21st, 2013. For additional weather information and the latest forecasts and highlights, go to www.weather.gov/gjt.